This is a Photoshop tutorial on how to duplicate a background element in a photo to be able to create the illusion of placing one object behind another. So you're going to need to open the photos that you're going to use. And in this case I'm using a movie theater seat and screen. And then you're going to change the name of the theater seat file and open the same exact image under a new name. The reason you have to do this is because for whatever reason Photoshop will not let you open the same photo in two panes if it has the same name. So that's what I'm doing right now. And the reason that you're going to do this is so that you can copy and paste an element of the same photo. Use the quick selection tool to select the part of the photo that you're going to duplicate. I would recommend getting the selection as perfect as you can during this stage because it's a lot easier to adjust the selection rather than going back and having to erase parts of the photo that you don't want. After you paste the selection, you're going to want to size it to make it look like it would actually be a part of the photograph that you're placing it in. And to do this, you free transform it and then resize it. And getting the selection perfect is especially important on something like this because the first time I did this photo I did not take my time and it was awful trying to get it to match the second photo. It's really difficult to get intricate parts of the photo and sometimes when you're using the quick selection tool you'll think that you can't get it but really you just need to make the size of the selection tool smaller. After you paste the duplication you're going to free transform it and resize it. and then place it over the other spot in the photo that it matches. And now you will just adjust the photograph to make it look like Scream was there the whole time. <laughs> 